The Morsi have an aversion to body hair. It's considered unhealthy. Both men and women remove all their pubic hair. The only hair that is left adorns their head. <laughs> This is also one of the few remaining places in the world where people are totally unconcerned by their nakedness. Bagnese is applying a thin layer of clay to Urbudong's back. While it is still wet, he uses the tips of his fingers as a brush to create a variety of patterns. The Mursi view the human body as a living canvas. Their art is designed to seduce women. Bagnese believes that the paint on his face gives him supernatural protection. He wears it to frighten his opponent during the donga or his enemies during battle. Lamorsi have always been powerful warriors. One way to channel violence and settle disputes is the donga. Only unwed men compete in these duels to prove their manhood and courage to settle disputes over girls. To win, you just have to knock out your opponent. Your prize is often a girl chosen by the women. This is only a practice bout. The real duels will take place in the fall and become extremely bloody. It is strictly forbidden to kill your opponent. Should this happen, the killer is banished from the village for life. But values have to stand the test of social reality. And for the Morsi, cattle are their reality. If I have a Kalashnikov rifle, I can protect my cows and my family from other tribes. If not, they would take everything away, even the land. That is why I don't mind trading six cows for one Kalashnikov. It is because of no rains that we had to take this land from the Bodhis. But today, the Bodhi are many, and they are getting stronger. They steal our cattle and food and kill some of us. You are our guest. You must leave. It is too dangerous. We have too many problems. I'm sorry. I am mercy. I don't know anything about government. Nobody comes here. No police, no court, no school, no clinics. I know only mercy, nothing else. I live here, I marry here, and I'll die here. I believe in God when I meet an elephant on the path and kill it, sell the ivory and buy a machine gun. All that I get from God. I didn't work for. All the men want girls with the big plates. They're very nice, very beautiful. That's what we believe. As the women fetch the water, once again I think of modern man, who takes for granted water and power at home, walks the surface of the moon, and builds nuclear weapons. And I wonder, who is more successful or happier as human beings? kid's enthusiasm for a simple piece of soap is as refreshing as the river cooling my bones. Simple things make them really happy. While so many of our children in our society, with their toys, television sets and video games, we rarely know the joy of living intimately with nature. The 
Morsi have no central political authority or real chieftain, but some men are listened to with respect. They're called Jalaba. They're usually over 50 and have proven themselves to be men of wisdom, moderation, and experience. Their role is to maintain tribal traditions rather than make decisions for the group. As animists, the Mursi pour milk in the ears of their deceased. Milk is a symbol of wealth that is carried by their dead into the next world. They bury their dead wrapped in cow skins in front of their homes. Cattle are driven over the grave to cover all signs of the deceased. The Mursi believe that maturity comes when the heart penetrates the eyes. A boy becomes a man when he can see with his heart. Implementation of a national park system is being discussed as a way to protect this environment as well as the tribal people and their traditions. The Morsi live in relative prosperity for the time being. Their land is still fertile, but they've cut down a lot of trees, so they're losing more and more soil to erosion each year. Unless something is done soon, they face the same tragic droughts and famines that we see in the northern part of Ethiopia. Oh no, I can't tell you their names. It would bring my children bad luck if I told you. Have you lost any children? Yes, that's the way it is with us. Only the strong can live. The Mursi's main crop is sorghum. It provides most of the carbohydrates in their diet. Their seemingly endless routine and constant chanting puts me in a hypnotic state. Time becomes irrelevant. After Nabali is done grinding the seeds into a fine flour, she adds milk or water and boils the sorghum mixture in a clay pot. Sometimes the mixture is allowed to ferment into a sorghum beer. The Mursi complete their diet with beans, milk, honey and meat. I must admit, the sorghum porridge tastes pretty good with honey. After feeding her children, Nabale talks with Dutia. Yes, it hurt a lot when I pierced my lip. My father got 38 cows when I married Banyese. My husband likes it a lot. Yes, I think I'm beautiful. I wonder what Nabali would think of the kids in our so-called advanced society that wear nipple, belly button and eyebrow rings, poke studs through their tongues and wear tattoos on every conceivable part of their body. The Mursi's concept of beauty is so different from ours, yet just as valuable and worthy of respect. After a few days, I'm getting used to the lip disc myself. I'm beginning to understand why their men find it attractive. Nabali is very beautiful. Cultivation is the work of women and girls. Herding is for men and boys. Pagnese, Nabali's husband, will tell you that he has 45 cows and two wives in that order, which means Bagnese is a wealthy man. Cattle is their currency. Not only does it provide milk, 
meat and leather for their clothing, it is also the only true measure of a man's wealth. A typical Mursi settlement consists of four or five families herding their cattle together. The Mursi will do anything to avoid slaughtering these animals. It is only done out of extreme necessity. But the cow's blood, well, that's a different story. It is prized as a source of great strength. To the Mursi, blood is the original renewable resource. For the Morsi warrior, there's nothing like a half gallon of hot blood first thing in the morning, and then wipe your mouth with dry cow dung. It's clean, absorbent, and available on Naturel.